Can CRP make you a millionaire? When will the next XRP jump happen? Ripple be able to fend off another SEC lawsuit? We will answer all these questions in today's video. The air is full with expectation and conjecture as Ripple prepares to convene its prestigious Swell Conference in Dubai in the coming weeks. In particular, the air is filled with anticipation and speculation around the possibility that Ripple would announce that company is going public. The XRP community is humming with excitement as they eagerly observe the event, hoping to interpret what Ripple could be planning for their next significant move. Rathof Gamemenwak, a well-known member of the XRP community, has assumed the position of the primary leader in the ongoing discussion over the possible consequences of the Swell Conference. In collaboration with other fans, Wok has identified four significant developments that may result from this event. Of these, an initial public offering eye is the one that is most eagerly awaited. The recent successes that Ripple has had in its protracted court challenges have given a boost to the continuing conversations that surround the possibility of an initial public offering for the business. In addition, Ripple has added gasoline to the flames by posting a job opening for a senior shareholder communications manager, which suggests that preparations for an initial public offering may already be underway. At an occasion as significant as Swell, there is a heightened level of anticipation for Ripple to make a public announcement since the community is certain that the company will eventually make the decision to go public. The fact that Ripple has a history of using such important venues to make key announcements only goes to serve as more evidence to support these rumors. Ripple Swell is scheduled to take place on November 8 and 9, 2023, and it promises to be a hub for creative minds working in blockchain, cryptocurrency, financial services, and economic policy. The purpose of the event, which will take place over the course of two days, is to encourage conversations about the intersections between blockchain technology and conventional systems, and to provide guests with helpful insights into the foreseeable future of digital payments and currency. The future of cryptocurrencies, central bank digital currencies, ESPDCs, payments, compliance and regulation, as well as other topics, will be discussed at this event, which promises a full investigation into the present state of the financial world. Ripple Swell is set to become a pivotal event in the world of cryptocurrencies thanks to the participation of over 600 participants, 80 presenters, and representatives from more than 40 countries. The XRP community is interested in Ripple's comments about its acquisition of a virtual assets regulatory authority Bari license, its initiatives in CBDCs, improvements in stablecoin and tokenization, and the introduction of new users to Ripple services. In addition to IPO rumors, the XRP community is also interested in Ripple's commentary regarding the introduction of new customers to Ripple services. As the day of the event approaches closer, everyone's attention is focused on Ripple as they excitedly anticipate any surprises that Swell may bring. Statements attributed to Arthur Brito, a Ripple co-founder, have fueled speculation about an XR price increase. Brito forecasted an incredibly positive future for XR, predicting that it may reach $10,000. Many residents are concerned about the likelihood of such a surge. Brito also underlines the significance of global scalability in order for XRP to service the world's 7. 5 billion people, according to the SA. However, there is no credible source to back up these allegations. While they are frequently debated, there is no record of Brito making such a big forecast. Brito has a modest profile and does not actively participate in his X account. As a result, most people do not recognize him as Ripple's co-founder. The company's well-known founders are Brad Garlinghouse, Chris Larson, and Jed McCaleb. Brito's first reference of XRP's ability to hit $10,000 may be found in a 2019 YouTube video, which says that he made this forecast in 2017. YouTuber Mark Collins highlights the necessity of more XRP liquidity in the video, implying that higher prices will result. He also sees the tokenization of other asset classes, utilizing XRP as a trigger to break beyond the $10,000 barrier. Additional than Brito's unverified forecast, there have been additional $10,000 predictions for XRP. Lord XRP IM Bitfor Coins, a notable crypto expert, has defined XRP reaching $10,000 as a natural conclusion. 
Lord AXRP based his forecast on Zixarium's ability to grab a larger part of the payments industry as the primary facilitator of central bank digital currency today. By evaluating their market capitalizations, this projection compares Ripple to established conventional payment companies such as Western Union and SWIFT. Lord XR believes that if Ripple can get a greater share of the global payments industry, which is presently valued at roughly $2, Seven quadrillion, the price of XRAP might rise to $10,000. On the floor of the House of Representatives, right in the middle of the Capitol building, an ardent Republican congressman from Ohio named Jim Jordan stood stubbornly. His statements rang throughout the chambers, filled with the intensity and conviction with which he had delivered them as he leveled accusations against the Democratic leadership and Nancy Pelosi, the Speaker of the House. The voice of Jordan reverberated across the room as she addressed the Speaker, Madam Speaker, stating that the American people deserve better. They should have a government that is open and fair to work for them rather than one that plays political games and uses sleights of hand. Jim Jordan, who was well known for his stubborn devotion to conservative principles, made reference to what he saw to be a lack of transparency in the decision-making processes that were led by the Democratic Party. Jordan regarded this as a lack of openness in the decision-making processes that were driven by the Democratic Party. He said that there had been improper interference in political affairs and questioned the direction that Pelosi's leadership had taken the legislative process in. The Democratic Party, Jordan said further, is failing to uphold the principles of democracy, an approach that is one-sided and disregards the opinions of millions of people throughout the nation is something that we perceive as displaying a brazen disregard for the importance of bipartisan cooperation. During his emotional talk, Jordan raised worries about what he saw to be a lack through bipartisan efforts in the process of making key decisions, which he said furthered a feeling of conflict and polarization within the political environment. His arguments concentrated on what he saw to be the failure of the Democratic Party and the leadership of Pelosi to foster a style of governance that was more inclusive and collaborative. He thought that this was an inability of the Democratic Party and the leadership of Pelosi. His statements were heard across the House and they drew fervent responses from members on both sides of the aisle. Jordan's statements were refuted by Democrats, who stood by their legislative agenda and denounced what they saw as unfounded charges designed to sow discord. In the days that followed, Jordan's remarks echoed across political conversations and media sources, sparking arguments about the significance of bipartisan collaboration and openness within the legislative process of the country. It is essential, however, to stress that the events described in this story are fictitious and were fabricated for the sake of illustration. As per the most recent information that I have, there have not been any well-known particular instances in which Jim Jordan has openly accused Nancy Pelosi or the Democratic Party of acting in the way that has been characterized. This story's objective is to provide a hypothetical scenario in order to shed insight on the nature of political disagreements that are present inside the administration of the United States of America, USA.